I know you love video games, or else why else would you be here? I also know you love seeing the perfect display. So it's our duty to make sure that our cartridges look and play perfectly. So what do you do when you get a new game lot and one of the cartridges looks like this? Permanent marker, stickers everywhere, what are we gonna do? How can we resurrect this game? Good morning you glorious gamers, Garbs here. Happy holidays and welcome back to the channel. So before we get on to rejuvenating this cartridge, don't forget to super smash that like button and subscribe for future content coming in 2021. I know a lot of you are gonna get some retro games in your stocking this year. Now hopefully you've been nice and Santa gives you cartridges that look like this. However, if you've been naughty, Santa might give you a cartridge like this. Now lucky for you guys, I don't give a shit if you've been naughty or nice, but I am gonna teach you how to clean up these cartridges. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need is a bunch of supplies. And these are what you guys are going to need to ensure that we get the cleanest game possible. You will need isopropyl alcohol, some q-tips, some gooby gone, paper towel, some nail polish remover, compressed air, a Mr. Clean magic eraser, small screwdriver, small socket depending on the cartridge, and a heat gun or a hair dryer. So we've got all of our supplies ready to go. Let's start with step one, getting the permanent marker off of Sarge's Heroes. So we're going to grab our isopropyl alcohol, paper towel, a few q-tips, and the magic eraser. So when you're doing this, make sure you take your time. Don't try to soak it too much and use two Q-tips. So see how it's starting to leak there? I'm gonna use the dry part of the Q-tip to just make sure I don't soak it too badly. Take your time when you're doing this. It won't get all of it off, but it'll get the majority of it off. Already it's starting to look a lot better. We can still see the T there. So we're gonna keep working at it here. That looks pretty good. So then we're gonna do the exact same thing to the back side, because someone decided to write the video game name just in case we forgot what it was. So let's get rid of that now. Now the next thing you're gonna do is take your magic eraser, put a little bit of water on it, not too much, and then you're gonna go over the area again, lightly giving it a little wipe down with the magic eraser. Try not to get too much onto the sticker. You can already see how it's starting to peel, so you gotta be really careful where you're getting this magic eraser. That looks pretty good for getting the permanent marker off. The next step is we're gonna get these horrible stickers removed using some heat and peeling slowly. So what we're gonna do is grab our heat gun and slowly heat up around the area, which should lift the glue and then slowly we'll peel it back. So once you've heated up a bunch, you're gonna slowly start peeling, there we go, off the edges. And if it doesn't start to peel nicely, what you're gonna do is get the heat gun and go on the inside. This one's looking pretty good. All right, all right, so one's off like that. And you can still see a little residue here from the tape, but we'll fix that after. So while you're peeling, if you have to use any kind of real force, that means there's still too much glue on here. So what I would suggest is taking your heat gun and putting it right down the crease. Like so. Excellent, now this one has quite a bit, you can see it there, of residual glue, so we'll have to use the goo gone to get that off in the next step. All right, let's tackle the back with this big sticker right here. So the only issue is when you're doing stickers from the back, this main sticker is gonna to wanna to peel off because of the heat, so ensure that you have a lot of pressure on the back sticker and then slowly peel. All right, so that's not bad. We've got the stickers off. Now all we have to do is get rid of all this residual glue and clean up the rest of the cartridge. So if there's some residual glue, I like using Goo Gone to get it off, but be careful. Goo Gone is oil-based, so it's really good to get the glue off. However, make sure it's nowhere near your pins. So when you're using the Goo Gone, spray it into the paper towel and really lightly, you don't need a lot. Again, it's oil-based, so be very gentle. Press it on a little bit and then slowly start making your way around the outside of the cartridge. Now already you can see that it's slowly starting to get away there. Now for stubborn parts like this, I would use your nail and try to scrape it off as best you can along with the Gooby Gun. All right, that's looking pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is take a final clean paper towel, just give it all a wipe down. And then we'll go over it one more time with the magic eraser in case there's any spots that still have some residual damage on them. So in terms of the exterior, I think this cartridge is looking pretty good. Now there is a little bit of damage that we occurred on the back of this sticker, unfortunately, but all in all, pretty good. We have no more stickers, we have no more permanent marker, 
And now we're gonna move on to the inside by removing these screws. So for this, you're gonna need some compressed air and a couple of screwdrivers. So depending on what kind of cartridge you're gonna restore, that will determine what kind of screwdriver you need to purchase. So do your research to figure out what sizes you need. However, I also suggest buying a big set like this. I'll put the Amazon link in the description below. However, having something like this is super useful for any small project you're gonna take on. So for the N64, it's really easy. There's these two screws on the back that you're gonna to have to get off. And be careful, because they're so little. Again, so little, be careful. Now one, once that's done, take your cartridge and slide it forward and then up, like so. And now you have the inside of your Nintendo cartridge. Now at first glance, this looks pretty good, but we're still gonna remove it by removing these two tiny screws to get to the board. So with the screws out, now you're gonna wiggle off this heat shield. And now, we're in the inside of an N64 cartridge. Isn't it crazy how small the actual video games were back then? And this is where you can tell if it's legit or not, because right there it says Nintendo 1996. So the first thing I like to do once my cartridge is open is I like to give it a little spray with the compressed air. And I can already see a few things popping up, but it makes sure that it, all the dust is fully out of it. Then you're gonna bring back the isopropyl alcohol and give it a small swab. So slowly take the rubbing alcohol and just put it across the pins, both front and back. Now once you're done that, you're gonna quickly dry it with the compressed air. This is looking pretty good. Now all you have to do is put it back together. So look at this, it looks fantastic both inside and outside. Yes, there's this little blemish right here, which I'm pissed about, but Overall, guys, I'm really happy with this, and Sarge's Heroes is ready for the shelf. So that does it for today, guys. Now you all know exactly how to clean your cartridge inside and out. I'm praying that you all have an amazing holiday, and as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you online.